Hello and welcome to learningengineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. Today what I'm going to be doing is um, showing you how to count a character in a document and then replace it with the character plus a number. So what I'm trying to do is take this where you see these little pound symbols and then replacing them with a sequence. So one, two, three, four without having to type everything out. So this isn't really that hard. You can't really do this with a macro. I looked, I did quite a bit of research on this, and there probably is a way to do it with a macro, but it's not really the best. There is a solution. The solution I found is, is here at this link, and I will be putting that in the information part of the video here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to start by uh, typing in the pound. So basically go to anywhere in your document and just type in pound SEQ for sequence a space and then a forward slash A. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select these characters, the sequence A, and then we're going to do a control F9. So hold down the control key, the CTRL key, and hit F9, and that's going to turn it into a field. Once we have that, we can press F9, okay, and you see that it turns it into a 1. So now what we want to do is we're going to open up the find and replace. So here's replace. So I'm going to, and now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this right next to it because I want them right next to each other. And then I'm going to select this and hit control X to cut it. Now it's going to be in the clipboard. So now when I hit replace, what you'll see here is we want to find the pound symbol. And then we have replace it with caret C, which what this means is that caret C means that we want it to replace it with what's in the clipboard. So that's how that works. So now if I click replace all, okay, you can see it made all four replacements, but now you just notice though, and you might think, oh, well, but it's all just once. Well, here's the catch. Now you hit control A to select all. And then if you hit F9, it will update them. And as you can see, they are now all numbered. So that's how that works. Pretty easy peasy. So remember the first step is to type out that whatever you're using, whether it's label or pound symbol, capital letter SEQ, for a space, a forward slash, and an A, and then when you do your find and replace, you want to click replace, just tell it what you're looking for here. And then whatever you have copied down here or cut down here, it's going to replace with that here. So that's what that means. That's in the clipboard. Now, if I wanted to, I could probably just go and it would do the same thing. Okay. So that's how you do it. And again, if you need help with that, I will have this link in the video so that you can see how this is done. And that's it.